Today we're going to compare the Poco X3 Pro to the normal version. Yes, I'm going to call it that and see how much faster the Snapdragon 860 is compared to the 732G here. And we're going to do a little Instagram story test to see if there is any difference from the Poco X3 normal version. Let's get into it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to another actually unboxing video but I assure you this is gonna be a quick one because I mean, what is inside a box? You got your normal stuff and that's about it. So this Poco X3 Pro, I'm a little bit late to the party here because it just launched in Indonesia. I bought it like on the 24th of April, which is like two days ago. So as soon as I got this, I really wanted to unbox it to you guys. So this is the Poco X3 Pro. And what's interesting about this is the price difference is basically negligible because I bought this at like 3 million Indonesian rupiah and a 128 gigabytes version will cost 3.5 million whereas this 128 gigabytes 3.5 million I mean basically the same price right there but everything just better so I'm really excited to see how much performance difference this Snapdragon 860 brings to the table here other things like battery screen um, I mean technology they pretty much stay the same so we can see right here same 5160 milliamp hour battery same 120 Hertz display which is great but the Corning Gorilla Glass is upgraded from Gorilla Glass 5 to Gorilla Glass 6 here so it should be a little bit more durable than the Poco X3 and then this is the star of the show because it's got a main like one core that operates at 2.96 gigahertz that will bring that speed when you need it. So yeah, I got the phantom black uh, color here and we can see it right now. So thank you for choosing Poco. Yep. And as usual, uh, we got an included case in the box. So yeah, uh, let's check out the phone right here this is it the poco x3 pro i mean there's nothing different there really is nothing different all right so looking at the front screen you basically cannot tell the differences it's still got that plastic built-in screen protector there to the right side we've got our same volume rocker as well as power and fingerprint sensor and to the back now this is where we can finally see the difference actually on pictures they look kind of like very 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 similar but turns out there are some subtle changes here First off, I mean, the color options are also different, but the finishing is also different. Now here you have a matte finish on the sides on the pro version and glossy in the center with some color gradient going on there like throughout the entire thing. Whereas on normal version here, you can see it's a monotonic, I mean, blue and black basic design with all glossy plastic back. Yeah, that's fine and all, but this thing looks definitely cooler. And you can see here actually the camera bump is a little bit less let me see there the camera bump is actually the same thing but there is a change to the camera whereas you got 64 megapixel sensor on the poco x3 normal and on the pro it kind of seemed downgraded to the 48 megapixel and also the ultra wide camera is downgraded to 8 megapixel from 12 here but we shall see if the quality is any different later on in the camera review and yeah basically on the top we can see the same ir blaster microphone and all of that and to the left the sim card tray is on the same location and down here you can see everything is pretty much intact the speakers the usb-c as well as 3.5 five millimeter jack so yeah that's great to see let's turn this on and set it up right now while we are waiting let's see what else do we have inside the box it's still the same thing 33 watts uh fast charger right here also we have our cable fast charge cable that's kind of like one and a half meter long here so as we can see right here, I am now into the Poco X3 Pro. Got 128 gigabytes instead of 64 now, but the MIUI version, despite both are using MIUI 12, but you can see here that this is running an Android 10 version of MIUI 12, whereas on the X3 Pro, it's running Android version 11. Okay, this phone is gonna need a ton of tweaking, but Anyway, let's just go straight and download all these benchmark apps and we're gonna test out how they perform. So let's run the CPU benchmark right now and we're gonna see 
how much faster the pro version is to the normal version. All right, so the results are in and we can see from the single core score, the difference is not mind blowing or anything, but from the multi-core, the X3 Pro pulls ahead by 1000, which is great to see. But Geekbench only tests the CPU part of the processor and we're gonna see how everything blends in together with Antutu now. We'll let it run and I'll get back when it completes. All right, that took quite some time, but finally we got our results here. The Poco X3 NFC, the normal version, only got 333,000. And you can see the weakest point here is actually on the GPU because it only scored 93,000. So this Adreno 618 isn't particularly that strong. And with the upgrade to the Adreno 640, and we can see that scored more than doubled and you can even see that on the test that this performs much much better when compared to the normal version and yeah i mean at the same price i just can't stress enough how much of a value here i think poco has finally perfected that mid-range killer section and it finally got the thing that it needed the most it's got everything down already but the processor wasn't particularly strong here now it is very very strong and we can see there is a 50 percent performance uplift from the cpu side here so that's good too and memory performance is actually improved by two times too so maybe that is due to the ufs 3.1 but yeah otherwise a bit stronger side on the user experience so expect less stuttering and jittering when you're scrolling especially through that 120 hertz refresh rate when you turn it on and across the test here you can see that this almost touches 40 degrees it's still about the same here on the normal version that's also hovers around 38.5 so yeah that's pretty much it for the Antutu test let's go ahead and do the final testing right now all right so welcome to the Instagram test everyone this is the comparison between the x3 pro to the x3 normal version and you can see that the normal version actually has a bit more contrasty look to the X3 Pro. But what do you think of the quality? What do you think of the microphone quality as well? And uh, the X3 Pro gives you a bit more flatter look, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below and let's get back. All right, so what do I think of the Poco X3 Pro? I think they finally did it. They finally gave it a performance boost that made it the phone that I will recommend if you're looking for a performance but on a budget. This really is the king at the moment and I'm super excited to do the gaming test later on. I'm super excited for the camera test as well and finally the full review after I've used it for about a month. And also if you have bought the X3, I think it is time to sell them. I mean, <laughs> so as a fellow X3 owner, I just want to say I feel you, I feel your pain, but technology moves so fast. The X3 Pro is just a much better phone right now and I think it is totally worth upgrading if you are going for that most performance you can get for your money. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave links down below if you want to help me support the channel by buying these phones through the links. Other than that, thank you so much. Please look forward for more videos in the future. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.